hello and welcome back to my channel um today i'm gonna film a bit of a quarantine video um i put on my instagram the other day asking what people wanted to see and quite a few people said you know what you're doing in quarantine to keep sane <laughs> basically because we all know we're going crazy but yeah so today i am gonna film a bit of a video i'm just gonna take you along with me throughout the day today is a very chilled day for me i don't really have plans to do any uni work um maybe a little bit later but i'm just going to show you kind of what i do on a chilled day to keep sane relax pamper myself a little bit maybe just things that you can do to keep yourself a bit busy um and things that i've been doing to do that so yeah you may have noticed i've dyed my hair i finally got it back to one color i really really like this brown it's slightly darker than my natural brown but i still think it's really really nice um I wanted to film a different video today, um, but I'm waiting on one parcel which is like integral to the video. Also, please ignore the fact that I'm literally covered in stains. I don't know if you can see, like from my hair dye and like <laughs> the glove had a hole in it whilst I was doing it. So yeah, um, ignore that. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have to wait for that one. Um, that was the most requested video when I asked people what they wanted to see. Um, so I will do that next week. But other than that, I'm just going to take you along today. I think I've got plans to go to the shop, maybe bake some cookies. Long story short, basically, me and Aaron started keto on Monday, which if you don't know what the keto diet is, it's basically really low carb diet, really high fat, and it's meant to put you in a state of ketosis, which basically burns fat instead of carbs for energy. So you're burning fat for energy, which in turn makes you lose weight. But... I was reading a lot up about it yesterday and I'd been feeling really shit, like, I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling crap. My stomach felt horrendous, I felt greasy and horrible, I was dizzy every time I stood up, and obviously it's because my body's not used to not eating carbs. Um, so, I was reading up about it yesterday after feeling really rubbish, and I just came to the conclusion that for me, personally, it's just not the vibe. I, you know, made better gains when I was eating more protein and just actually having a balanced diet. I mean, I do like chocolate, but that's fine. Because <laughs> I haven't eaten anything shit in like literally five days. I haven't had a touch of anything. Like I've not had, I've not even had fruit because you're not allowed to eat fr like much fruit on the keto diet. I normally have a banana every morning and I've not been doing that. I've not been having grapes or anything like that. So that's really emotional. Um, but yeah, I had porridge this morning, just porridge though, nothing more. Um, but I am gonna go to the shop today because I want to bake. Jane's Patisseries, um, what are they called? The NYC cookies, and they look incredible and they're really easy, they don't really require many ingredients either. So I'm gonna see what we've got. I've also been baking quite a lot lately, like consider it like compared to normal. Um, I think that that's a really good thing to do in quarantine. I did like Aaron's birthday cake, um, a lemon drizzle, I did some mini egg brownies close to Easter. But yeah, I just want to give you guys some ideas of what I've been doing and what you can do um, just to keep busy and stuff during quarantine. So yeah. So I'm just on my way to Sainsbury's to get the stuff for baking. It's actually such a nice day today. Like it's not too hot, but it's not too cold. But yeah. So I'm up close because I'm still not comfortable <laughs> vlogging in public yet. Um, I feel like that might take a while for me to get used to. So that's kind of why I'm being a bit quiet right now. Maybe someone will think that I'm on FaceTime and then uh, won't think I'm a weirdo, but... So the shops were somewhat successful. The one thing I'm missing is bicarbonate of soda, but I think we... I've literally been out of the house like over an hour because I had to go to two shops and the coup for Asda was a fucking joke. So, I'm gonna bake the cookies.
How unreal is this lighting? Uh, the cookie dough is just kind of setting and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. Um, I don't really have any plans today. Like, as I said, this is kind of what I do on a chill day. I know for so many people, they don't like like not doing anything, which is why I tried to make my one visit to the shop today um, as long as possible. Although, Asda's queue was ridiculous. But yeah, I've been out the house at least today and that's been really nice. I think because I like know that I'm doing stuff like, baking and things like that I feel okay today I think I'm gonna play some video games after this um, I downloaded Warzone which is crease um, really really funny actually because I don't know why I think that I'm a gamer now uh, <laughs> we're gonna play a game in a bit maybe play Princess Peach on the DS and oh my god it's so sunny and then do a face mask and stuff later probably well we're cooking dinner tonight so that's gonna be nice we're having meatballs um but yeah i've basically just longed out the day really like made my trip to the shop last as long as possible i think it's really important in this time to like sit outside if you can i, I feel for you like if you don't have a garden like it's actually so peak i came to aaron's to isolate because like they've got a garden i can like go outside and stuff whereas back in oxford my flat is a flat i don't have a garden so I get it if you're struggling, like I completely understand. It's a bit, a bit annoying really, isn't it? But I think it's really important to go, like at least now we can go on a bit more of a walk and stuff. I think as long as I get out of the house like once a day, I'm happy. <laughs> also, I feel like this video was meant to be like a day, like I don't really know what it was meant to be to be honest. I thought that I was gonna do loads of things that I would do in quarantine, but like realistically this is just a day in my life. I get up, I have breakfast, I get myself ready. I like go to the shop, do something for a bit, don't really know what, <laughs> doesn't really matter what I do. Normally by the time I get ready though, like it's like lunch time, so I end up not really doing a lot afterwards. But yeah, my walk to the shop was nice. I just feel like that's what I've done today, but that's okay. Gone to the shop, baked. I feel like that's successful. And I am gonna chill later. Like today has been a chilled day, a day of eating cookies and baking them first, obviously. And yeah, just like enjoying myself, like just chilling really. <laughs> Sorry if it's been a bit boring, but this is all I'm doing. This is all any of us are doing in quarantine, so. I literally just can't wait for the cookies to be done. They're meant to be really, really nice. Um, I think I said earlier that Jane's Patisserie's NYC cookies and they look unreal. One of my friends cooked them the other day and recommended them and they look so I'll let you know how they turn out. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know who it is, I know who it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just playing up. So I'm just sat in the kitchen waiting for my cookies um, because they're finally in the oven. So exciting. Um, and I'm just gonna watch a couple of YouTube videos. Well, actually probably less than that. And then after that, we're cooking dinner. So today has literally gone so quickly. I woke up at like quarter to 10. By the time I'd had breakfast and gotten ready for the day, it was time for me to go to the shop. By the time I got back from the shop, it was like half two. So this has literally been such a quick day. And now it's near dinner time, so fucking hell, it has gone quick. I feel like this is probably like the worst video. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, the cookies are out of the oven. <laughs> they look incredible. They look amazing. They're cooling down. I'll give a taste test when we eat them. For dinner, we're having meatballs, I think I said earlier, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna chill this evening. I'm gonna have a bit of me time, do a face mask, and that's about it. So, I have come upstairs now. I am just gonna take my makeup off, and um, I'm gonna do a face mask, I've decided this evening. Oh wow, already looking, oh, 10 times worse. 
I'm going to do a face mask this evening because I haven't done one in a while and I feel like I deserve it. I'm just going to take my necklace off as well. I just feel like it's the end of the day. It's like 8pm. still really light outside to be honest. Like it literally, let me show you, literally doesn't even look like it's 8pm. And I'm just going to sit and take my makeup off and just chill. Um... I think, oh my god, I literally can't, there's the fucking hair dye on my hand again. I think tonight I'm just gonna basically YouTube, do this face mask, watch this YouTube, um, we've got a couple videos to watch, maybe play some Warzone. Um, I feel like today's literally gone so quickly so I've hardly done anything, but tomorrow we've got a really productive day ahead, um, which will be nice. So yeah, tomorrow we've got a bit more of a productive day, I probably should have done this vlog then. But I think the whole point of this video was like what I'm doing when I'm chilling during quarantine um, rather than like like on a busier day. So tomorrow we're going for a walk in the morning and then we're going to come back and like clean Aaron's car. I'll probably do some uni work as well tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be kind of not boring but like it's time for us to like hang out and stuff. Oh, I just look so tired at the minute. I'm so tired all the time. Um, I don't know if anyone else is getting that but I literally just feel so lethargic like 24 7 it's just not a vibe to be honest also i'm really not using a mirror to do this i'm literally looking in the fucking camera to take my makeup off um but yeah i'll show you in a sec what face masks i'm gonna use i got them in an order a couple of weeks ago and i haven't used them yet let me just find them this is my little drawer of things in aaron's bedroom it's just got like my eye cotton buds and stuff in there uh where the fuck did i put them Oh, there they are, at the bottom. <laughs> These I got an order from Urban Outfitters because they were on sale for like a pound. So, I literally... How do I get these out? I don't know which one to do. I've got two options. Um, fuck, how the fuck does that come out of there? Am I being stupid? They're the Anatomicals brand. This is the... Hold on, let me take the, ta the fucking sticker off, that would help. Fuck. This is a... This is so difficult. How, why is it not coming off? Anything. Deep cleaning mud mask. So, farewell the scarlet pimple something. I can't read it. And then this one is the hottie is totty and never spot... No. The Hottie Totty is Never Spotty, which is an anti-blemish blemish face mask. I think I'm going to do the anti-blemish face mask today. Focus. I had like a few small breakouts over the last... To be fair, like most of this is scarring here, but like a few little breakouts along like the very edges of my face. And I think that was because I was doing the keto um, diet for a couple of days. Well, I did it for four days. Aaron was like, you literally did it for three days, but I did it for four. And I actually feel really proud of myself because it's fucking horrible. So, proud of myself for that. I feel like I'm rambling. Although, I feel like a longer video, like, I don't, I quite enjoy watching long videos on YouTube. Um, like, Sophia and Chintia, like, anyone else that does, like, an hour-long vlog, I love that. Like, I just really enjoy watching it. Oh, oh I've got it in my eye. Uh, oh, oh. I hope you really enjoyed this video because... I don't know, I just feel like I've been very rambly. Getting a parcel come this weekend, um, which is a basket to organise like my pyjamas and my underwear in this bedroom, because obviously it's not my bedroom. All my organiser, organising, uh, all my like, organiser, <laughs> all my storage is in Oxford. And like, all my clothes are in Oxford. So I have like, an average amount of clothes here. Like, I have a good amount of clothes and I have ordered more like, as well, so I do need somewhere to put them and I've got one shelf here, but I just feel like I'm invading Aaron's space, so I basically ordered myself a basket, which is coming this weekend. So I'll probably do like a little, maybe I might do a vlog next week. Maybe that's what I'll do. No, yeah, I haven't really decided. I know exactly what my next video is gonna be, um, which I need to film this coming week when my parcels arrive. I've come to the bathroom to do this just because I need to wash my face, etc., etc. So, um, so I'm going to cleanse my face with my face wash, which is the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. This has been my favourite for a while now.
I've got my face mask on, I'm gonna sit and watch Ellie Darby's new YouTube video, and then I'm gonna wash it off and let you know the verdict, because I've never used this one before, um, or this brand at all, really, so hopefully it's nice and it makes my skin feel good. I've washed it off and my skin feels so, so soft. Like, literally so pleased with that. Definitely gonna do the other one next week. Um, so these are some of my skincare favorites at the minute, like. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I've really been focusing on my skincare during isolation, making sure that I'm like, just washing my face properly, like twice a day and stuff. Whereas at the moment I've been really, really focusing on doing that. So I've done my face mask. And now I'm going to use, this is what I use at night to moisturise, it's the um, the Ordinary Natural Moisturising Factors. So, yeah, that's really good. Um, and then in the daytime I use the Super Drug Vitamin E Day Cream, because it's like really thick and I have like dry skin. So, oh. but yeah, these are my two moisturisers that I like to use. Now that I have moisturised, <laughs> what the fuck? Now that I've moisturised, I'm going to get into some comfy clothes and just go and join Aaron downstairs. And then probably get an early night, to be honest. My stomach is feeling so horrendous at the minute just from coming off the keto diet and, like, being on the keto diet. And then, like, going backwards and forth between the two has been a bit stressful for my tummy. I just feel, like, exhausted and tired and we are going to get up quite early tomorrow and start our day. Um Earlier than usual. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um... I hope that like this kind of reminds you that everyone is in the same position just because like I'm not doing much and like my chill days are chill days and like most days are chill days. I think that's okay like trying to stay sane in quarantine is difficult but I'm just trying to do little things like take care of my skin, like sit in the garden, do baking, like go to the shop for a walk. Just do little things like every day just to kind of pass the time a bit. And I really hope that this video shows you that you are not the only one doing that because I'm doing it too. I'm really excited for my next video because it's something that is going to be really fun to film hopefully. So yes, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and that's all for today. Bye.